We're on the draw. Two Mox, Sahili, Force of Will. This hand doesn't look that great. If we could get the Sahili Ray online, um, it gets a little bit better with the Scry. And we might be able to force it out turn one. I think we might. We'll try it. I'm not sure if it's a great hand. So that's a bad start for us. Yeah, so that's a really bad start for us. Let's go ahead and F6 here. If we, uh, we're going to counter anything, we would have countered the Monastery Mentor. Well, we know we'll lose the first Sahili Mentor, or the Sahili Ray, to the Mentor. But at least now we have something to pitch to the Force of Will. We could decide to just hold on to the Sahili Ray. Yeah, we'll kind of have to draw into Oath, I think, pretty quickly. Let's see if they try to force us. They don't. Scry to bottom because we really need to find an oath. This would be pretty good if they can't kill our Sahili Ray this turn. Looks like they kept the hand just based on that um, Black Lotus and Mentor coming out first turn, which is a, you know, it's a pretty strong hand. So we'll scry one, then Ancestral Recall. Go bottom. I guess we shouldn't have run the land out in case we found green mana to cast an oath if we found it this turn. That was, that was a mistake, I think. We really needed to kind of maybe run out the polluted delta instead. I think we need to force a will this mental misstep. It kind of stinks, but we're kind of in a um, do or die mode right now. And if we don't find Oath, then we're definitely uh, just going to die. Alright, I think we either naturally draw into Oath next turn or we just concede. Although we might just be losing this turn. Doesn't look like it. So we're gonna take five, seven, we're going to take at least 7, put us down to 12, and maybe they can't find a... So if we draw into Oath this turn and cast it, and they can't play a spell next turn, then we might just win. 
Oh my gosh. Let's uh let's see if this resolves. So that was step one, but um, they had the force. Would have been cool, but such is life. All right, I like Blazing Archon. So the opponent's uh, chanting me up here. It says uh, blue decks were, that blue decks are fair. Um, that definitely played a little bit of an unfair game there. All right, so I'm bringing an extra ancient grudge. I like balance in the matchup. Detention sphere could be good. Um, nab a bunch of tokens. So what can we cut? They could be running like a stony silence. Maybe the divining tops. We could bring in a blazing archon. I don't think so. I could just eat a sword supply shares. I think we leave in the Sun Titan Sahili Ray combo. And I mean it's the reason I'm playing the deck, so I'd like to see it uh see it happen a few times. Sun Shock comes in. Mind Break Trap seems good. We need to cut two cards. Probably another Sensei's Divining Top. We have a lot of, uh, we can dig pretty hard with the deck and the Sealies and our draw spells. And just kind of, in case we're going to come up against some sort of, uh, you know, Stony Silence effect. I think we can shave the Beast within. We don't necessarily need to give them a token. So it looks good to me. So they're still thinking about their sideboard strategy. That might be good for me. Alright, we'll see how this game goes on the play. A couple of Force of Wells, Treasure Cruise. It's Sam Adams. But no real action. Mulligan, Oath of Druids. So we'll be able to turn one, preordain. Turn two, Oath of Druids with Gush, and maybe hopefully some backup with this preordain. <laughs> he said, sweet, I have a land, and I have no chance this game now. We'll keep, balance is interesting. We could just kind of keep that as a backup, um, although it kind of makes our turn one preordain worse. Basically, we'll just get to put one card onto the bottom, potentially. I don't think we'll need the balance if we're going to force out the Oath of Druids, so put that on bottom. Go Volcanic Island, preordain. And I'll lead out with the Volcanic Island in case they have Wasteland. I need to keep this Tropical Island around. I'm going to go ahead and put Detention Sphere on bottom and draw Mind Break Trap. Well, do I want Mind Break Trap? If they counter with the Druids next turn, it's probably not going to be, you know, three spells in. You know, this might have been a mistake to bring in. I was I was really thinking about using it for protecting my combo, uh, but it's really a lot better against like a storm deck. I probably I probably shouldn't have brought that in, so we'll scrap that to the bottom. 
run out Mox Jet and pass. It kind of makes me wonder if I need to hold on to Delta Druids until I'm maybe more sure that they're going to have a creature. Uh, you know, just having to sit out on the battlefield is a little bit risky. So now they know about the Gush, they know about the Oath. So no turn one mentor this game. So they're leaving that mana up, you know, maybe they've got like a fluster storm or something. They're going to Ancestral. They know I can't do anything about it. Oh man. So do I wait a turn so I can try to gush and protect the combo or do I run out an Oath of Druids? They don't. They could. They're pretty much on Force of Will or Bust right now. Man, I could wait a turn and potentially be able to gush into an answer. Or I could be really aggressive this turn. Eight cards. I think I just make them have it. I mean, they could also have some removal for the Oath of Druids, so this this could just be too greedy. <laughs> he says, now he doesn't need his mentor, I have my win con. That spirit token. Ah, they always have it. So my thought there, <coughs> excuse me, cough went down the wrong way, was that, um, you know, they've only seen 13 cards out of their 60 card deck. It's more likely they don't have force than they do have force. And they're just better at the control game than us as the oath deck because we're just kind of like splitting our deck between, you know, um, finding and getting out our win con and then kind of playing that control game. And so I think just delaying putting out the oath without the assurance that I'm going to draw into some answers just kind of lets them sculpt their hand uh, and just makes it even harder to resolve. Looks like they got rid of a gush. I mean, that could, that could be the wrong line. You know, I know... Um, you know, advantage, there's a lot of answers, so maybe I'm just a little bit too aggressive. We could Ancient Grudge the Mox Ruby and Gush.
I think I like going for the Gush right now while they're tapped out. They'd have to have another Force of Will to prevent it. We'll be able to float the mana for the Ancient Grudge. And I'm going to float a green just in case we find a... Uh, an Oath. Or should I float blue because I can already tap green with Forbidden Orchard? I think I do that. I tap blue. It's more like I'll draw a blue spell. And if they counter this gush, then I'll still be able to... Well, there we go. We don't need that blue mana. I kind of want to keep the red, though. So let's go ahead and destroy the Ancient Grudge first. Or the Mox Ruby. It kind of bumps me out that it automatically uses that mana. Alright, so we we're actually able to resolve the Oath. So they might use Jace to recast the Ancestral Recall this turn. <laughs> Got a Max Sapphire. So the loot, and they'll get to the play, I guess it's just Recall or Gitaxian Probe, if they want to. I'm guessing they're going to Ancestral Recall. It leaves them with mana up for a uh, Swords to Plowshares. It would be nice to draw into a Mental Misstep. Of course, they're going to get to uh, cast a Swords before we have a chance to draw. No mana. Oh, Containment Priest, that's pretty rough. Yeah, so them drawing that Mox is uh, pretty sweet. So now we're going to need to draw into that... Um, I'm blanking right now, the split second burn spell. and say no. So the Force of Will would have been nice. Play a Tropical Island in case we need to re replay Ancient Grudge. Step. I think that's fine. We, I mean, we really don't need that soul ring. We just need to live a couple turns and hopefully get rid of this containment priest.
So it's pretty rough. That would um that would have been pretty nice if they hadn't drawn that mock sapphire. They wouldn't have had the mana to cast the containment priest. But you do what you can, and uh, don't worry about the rest. So they have a four four damage on board or four power on board and that gives us four turns to draw out of this maybe um, and now our clocks considerably shorter I don't think there's any benefit to putting cards in our graveyard so we'll go ahead and say no Hold a second removal one time Nope, it's Tundra. That's a ton of disappointment. All right, so I th we might get... Man, I don't even know what we could draw now to not lose. I mean, Detention Sphere won't cut it. There's just too many different creatures on the board. Blazing Archon, I think if the Soul Ring would have lived or made it to the board, then maybe we would have had enough mana to uh, hard cast it. All right, so yep, I'm just gonna concede there. I don't think there's anything I can do to win. So great games, Lexor. Yep, we're we're you know forever away from doing anything. <laughs>